Hey guys, what's up? ShaneWolf38 here, and over the past few days, I've created something I've wanted to see in Minecraft for a long, long time. 100% accurate hit detection. So recently I've been watching a lot of videos by Nope Name and Unaware, and it kind of got me inspired to start working in 1.13. Also, big thanks to Unaware for answering a bunch of questions I had about the new commands. I'm going to put a link to both their channels in the description below if you want to go check them out. Okay, so let's get into it. Right here, we have an invisible zombie with an anvil on its head. And when I right click this carrot on a stick, I'm going to shoot fire out in the direction that I'm looking. So right now, I'm missing the anvil. I'm not looking directly at its hitbox. And you can see even if I miss very slightly, it still shoots out fire. But the moment that I look over its hitbox, you can see that these crit particles come out. So if I just do this, slightly miss, then a hit, slightly miss, then a hit, slightly miss, then a hit. So it's very accurate. I can even change my orientation. So slight miss, then a hit, slight miss, then a hit. I can also change the anvil's orientation. So just rotating it. And slight miss, hit. Slight miss, hit, slight miss, hit, and then just some spamming for good measure. <laughs> so yeah, uh, let me just do one more rotation. Um, I'll go to a different angle as well. So yeah, I'm just kind of spamming over it. You can see that the detection is very accurate. I made it for a chest plate as well. So just kind of spamming it at the moment. But yeah, you can see that it accurately detects when I'm looking at the chest plate's hitbox. can rotate this one as well. Yeah, so I think this is going to be really cool for map making because you can create something like an animal or a monster, and instead of just having half its texture be air, you can actually interact with it, which I think would be awesome and a lot more realistic. Um, there is a slight problem with this, or a glitch, I'm not really sure what it is. So I don't know if you can see this, it's kind of dark, but right now I'm looking at the right side of this pixel. And when I click on this, it actually, you can see the fire in the background, it's detecting this as a miss. But the moment I go over this little line here, it's now detecting it as a hit. Now I've tried making the accuracy much higher, and I still get this problem. So I'm assuming that it's something to do with how Minecraft detects entities inside of a block. But I'm not really sure. It may be a problem with the system, maybe a glitch in Minecraft, uh, I'm not really too sure. Another slight problem here is that if I take something like a dragon head, you can see that with this texture, the top part and the top part, of, or the head and the top part of its mouth are just normal Minecraft pixels. But the bottom part is actually slanted. Now, how well you can see that's kind of also dark. Um, yeah, it's actually slanted. And you can't have that just because you can't recreate that in Minecraft with pixels. So it, it won't work with this system. Uh, and the final problem, or I guess not exactly a problem, just an omission, <laughs> is that I didn't add it so that you can rotate the head up or down, or the anvil up or down, just because it's not used that often, it's mainly horizontal rotation that's used, and it would make a, or it require a lot more commands to do that, so I just, I uh, didn't add it, but I may do that in the future if I get more time. Okay, so let's head over to a simple explanation of how this works. I'll see you there. Okay, so you may have already guessed this works by recreating the model using blocks in your world. So right here we have the one for the anvil, and up above we have the one for the chest plate. And over here we have a little simulation of what goes on. So what happens when you right click your carrot on a stick is it actually shoots out an invisible armor stand in the direction that you're looking. So let's imagine that the armor stand is right here for a second, and this is the anvil that you're trying to hit. So let me run the command that happens. Or the function. So the armor stand would be represented right here um, next to the wool, which is also where it is uh, relative to, to the anvil. So if you change the orientation of the anvil, so let's say something like this, it actually changes where the armor stand is displayed as well. So if we run that, you can see that it's uh, slightly to the right of where it was before. If we turn the anvil all the way so that it's facing like this, the armor stand should be kind of over right about where I am right now. So let's see if I'm right. Yep, we can see it's right here. And we can turn the anvil all the way over here. And now it's gonna be kind of far over here to the right somewhere. Not this far away, but yeah, you can see it's right here. And that's just basically what happens when you rotate it. If you move it closer, it goes closer. If you move it farther away, it goes farther away. 
up and down the exact same thing. And it just works uh, with a little bit of math. 1.13 makes it a lot easier to do this. Uh, there's actually no square roots or calculations involved. It's just a little bit of teleporting. Well, there actually there is some calculations, but just basic ones like multiplying, dividing, adding, and subtracting. So, yeah, very cool. It works very well. Uh, the same thing applies for the chest plate. It just happens up here instead of down there. And, yeah, that's basically how it works. You can look at the function if you want a more in-depth look. Of course, I'll be providing a download to this world in the description below if you want to go check it out. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.